Hey there guys, uh, today another video. Uh, today I want to create a PSP uh, modding tutorial and it's actually requested by NinjaBlade or also known as Roex22 on YouTube I think. I don't know, it came straight out of that. So today I want to show you um, a tutorial on how to patch games, uh, PSP games to work on your firmware. Uh, so, for example, if I go to game here, I have have this game called Metal Slug Double X. And if I click on it, then it shows me a little black screen and after that it's going to tell me it's not working see the game could not be started so how do we fix this um, so of course uh, I forgot that to tell uh, you need custom firmware in order of this to work and of course a PSP that is able to run uh, homebrew uh, on your PSP. So anyways, um, we go to um, game again, but then we boot up a homebrew program and that's called, let me find it, here it is, ISO 2. Um, so we boot up ISO 2 and what you can do with ISO 2 is a lot of crazy stuff uh, and it's all on the PSP itself um, you can of course patch games to your firmware and you can also do a lot of other stuff what I don't know of I recently used this program so um, I don't know anything but I do know how to patch games so the first thing you're gonna see now is um, a list of what um, ISOs I have on my SD card so uh, as you can see this is my metal slug so I click X and then in this menu you click eBoot Decrypt I think it's a little blurry I don't know so we click on eBoot Decrypt and then it's gonna ask me do you want to store a uh, backup of ebook.bin? I always click on yes, you never know what happens. So I click on yes. And then it's going to ask me, do you want to enable the, the version patch? And of course, it's about the version why the game doesn't run. Mostly that's the problem. So I click on yes. Do you want to start? So then again, I click on yes, and it's now decrypting the eBoot. It might take a while because he is doing that on the PSP itself. As you can see, the the light is blinking now that he's done it. So he now said patching and blah 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 and he's now done it so then you click on home and then it says you want to quit the game click on yes. So we actually now patch the file uh, to our version and the game might be running now. So we click on memory stick again we now click on Metal Slug Double X we see my boot up screen again for any PSP games and as you can see the game works this game saves data automatically at certain points. Yeah. Okay, cool. As you can see, the game runs fine. 
I patched the game to my firmware and um, that's how you patch games on the PSP itself. Um, for proof that it's working I'm just gonna start a mission. Single, normal. Of course, um, where's my favorite character? Astarma. Mission one. Okay, it's a little bit hard for me to play because I watch through the camera itself. But as you can see, the game. now works and um, yeah I hope uh, this tutorial helped you guys so um, let me quick go back here and quit it so uh, yeah um, this was your Palmini one and um, till the next video later